Hey guys, Flubbleek here today and welcome back to Cities at Skylines, starting off with another time lapse. This one goes to about 11 and a half minutes, so if you want to skip it, feel free to do so. Uh, but we're continuing on pretty much where we left off last episode. Uh, I am making quite a big change here to the tram stop though, because we have the two different tram lines and this is where they, uh, they changed. So I thought I'd make almost like a little bit of a tram terminal so tram hub in a way so i thought i'd bring it off the main road here and have a few uh different tracks here so basically i'm trying to do two different stops for the two different lines uh because what we were, what we were getting first of all we had a really really ugly little circle loop thing which well to be fair we could have made look nicer if we decorated it up a little bit but i mean we kind of have a few of those around the place so i didn't really want to do that again so what i did is i'm well right now i'm trying to get multiple turns to work but it's not really working that way so i'm just i'm about to change it and do it a little bit differently but anyway what was happening was uh, we had the two different tram lines there they would come to that stop and then they'll just back up across halfway across the intersection and it would just like block any other traffic trying to get across and and it was kind of dumb, like it was, it was kind of dumb that they had to get stuck and they couldn't just stop wherever they were. So instead I decided to make two different uh, distinct tracks here that they can actually go onto. They split off and go their separate ways. And then this one, the sort of, the, the inner track here joins back up to the main road there because that's the line that goes down to the new industrial area and the airport. So I thought that can sort of come up, turn left uh, at, on the left hand side there, the intersection, just continue on that way. The other one does actually need to turn around and go back the other way. So I just did this little turn around here. Which, to be fair, now thinking about it and looking at it, I could have just had a two-way tram road coming off uh, parallel to that road and just had it join around that way. But I've already built it like this, so that's just the way it's going to be. Also, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool and it does allow for expansion of more stuff a little bit later on. Uh, I, I do probably want to, we'll probably do like, uh, like I said, this area will probably be tourism anyway. So I think it'll be nice to have this sort of pedestrianized area in here. Uh, but yeah, I definitely could have just done a two-way tram road uh, on the side of that, but um, <laughs> that's just not how it turned out. So let's not worry too much about that. Uh, but yeah, it's just, I'm just trying to fix up the lines at the moment because um, it got a little bit messed up. But there you go. So now that's sort of in the right spot. And it means that they can sort of transfer between the two tram lines uh, right next to each other just there. And it actually works really well. And you see, I mean, at the moment, they're kind of doing a weird thing where they're like walking around, but I'm putting in some pathways that are kind of hidden underneath uh, all of that because all these are really close together but I've sort of put a few pathways between them so they should be able to transfer between the lines a lot easier now as you can see just there oh and then actually so someone mentioned last time or maybe a few people uh, like why don't you just use like prop line tool because you can see right now I'm sort of placing these one by one again and we disabled prop line tool a while ago because you guys mentioned that it was a bit of a destroyer of uh, the FPS and we'll because like when we we're in the game the frame rate's already not that great so I disabled as many mods as I could uh, to sort of avoid any uh, any more lag than we needed. And to be honest, we don't really use prop line tool that much, so I wasn't too worried about it. Now, right here, I was trying to do another tram depot somewhere, uh, but there was actually really nowhere to put it. Because I, I wanted one closer to this whole area, but um, it just didn't happen, so we're not going to worry about it. Now, in this area, I am putting in a cargo station. Actually, there was a comment as well last time that was like, I don't understand why you're trying to connect a cargo line to a passenger line. Um, and that's not what I was doing at all. It just happens to be sort of on the way to this central station. Like it's not supposed to be connected to it. It's just, that's just where the train tracks are. Um, but uh, as you can see, it does sort of connect through there, uh, but then it also connects to the rest of the train line. Anyway, so this is, um, we're gonna have a cargo station here. I do actually start off by, and actually by the end of this time-lapse, we do have the industrial sort of filling this area. But it doesn't really look very good at all because it's really it's a really dirty industrial. It's a really like um, smokestack industrial. It looks really stupid in the middle of the city. Uh, like if it was more like factories, like, like like sort of tall factories, like maybe five six story factory kind of things, that'd look really cool, I think. And then you could also do it sort of mixed in with offices, and it basically be an area that's been redeveloped uh, slowly over time. But it's not that, and it looks really stupid. So <laughs> when we get into the episode, we're gonna sort of play around with the area a little bit and see what we can do. Uh, now, this is in a tunnel, so I wasn't too worried about the connections looking realistic or them even working that well. Uh, so don't look into that too much. Like, those, those train tunnels there are pretty messy, but it does connect the train both directions. Like, it connects us out to the harbor, where uh, just over by the other industrial area, and it also connects us up to the rest of the uh, regional line and the other direction. So that's kind of all that was for. Now, yeah, so this is where I'm sort of building uh, this whole area into being more of an industrial location. Uh, but like I said, I'm probably going to change this up. Now, this is kind of weird. Uh, 
in a maybe a good way. I'm not really sure. But yeah, so obviously with the, the cargo station, you have a lot of trucks turning in and out of it. So I used the uh, the small median strip road. So basically, you can't just cut across the middle of the road. So they have to sort of uh, continue going in one direction. And then I was like, okay, we'll do this uh, little turnaround here. And again, I think I did something that was probably unnecessarily overcomplicated, like I did with the trams just before. Like I've done this one way, uh, almost, it's, I guess you could think of it like a roundabout because it's obviously going in a loop. It's a one way sort of circuit. But then I was like, you know what? I want traffic to be able to go the other way around this too. So then I did this like lane that sort of bypasses it. But it's kind of weird because you're essentially driving on the wrong side of the road if you follow this, if that makes sense. Like, because if you, <laughs> you, because we're a left-hand drive city. So now the one way going that way is on the right hand side and it's kind of weird but that's just the way it is um oh definitely overcomplicated. kind of interesting uh we'll probably never do that anywhere else in the city let's just pretend it's a uh, 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 holdover from the past of what this area used to be i i don't know it doesn't make a lot of sense even to me so don't don't think about it too much uh <laughs> i don't know it was kind of weird but anyway um yeah, so just basically doing some really simple roads in this area. And this is, yeah, this is where I zoned in with industrial. I was hoping that we could get some nicer looking industrial. Like I even, um, like I think all of this industrial is even leveled up uh, as much as it can be. But it still looks pretty gross. Like, so what we do as well, I do a lot of um, sort of Rico buildings in this area leading up to the space as well. I think that was an office block. So I'm trying to do like a lot of office blocks here. And I think even I do some maybe some residential through here but i wanted like i wanted this sort of downtown city area to extend out this way and it will basically be bordered by the the sort of the highway there so that that highway running through the other side the other side of that will probably be lower density stuff if we ever even get over that side uh but all this side is going to be more high density so that's why i wanted to sort of fill in this area with as many buildings that could fit i obviously didn't want to get huge buildings for the sake of huge buildings uh because some of them do look kind of ridiculous and also we're trying to work with the height limit of the uh the sydney tower being the highest point in the city which actually there was a comment about that as well they're saying uh i think the the, the the person was like it was, it was uh, ridiculous to think that that tower hadn't been surpassed in height like in this city because I think the original, as they said, was built in the 1980s. So like in 40 years, it's a bit ridiculous that it wouldn't be surpassed. But then I was like, yeah, but the actual Sydney Tower is still the tallest building in Sydney too. There's no other building taller here. So the same would apply in this city. Uh, and I was like, I don't, I don't understand the point. <laughs> like, I didn't understand that comment because I was like, that's how it is in real life. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so like we're using the Sydney Tower as the highest building. So I want all the stuff to be lower than that. Um, I might... I was going to say, I might move it closer to the waterfront. Although, I don't know if I will. I think it's probably... Oh, actually, this is quite funny. I posted a screenshot of this on Twitter the other day. Um, I don't know if we'll see it in this, but I don't know if you saw all those ambulances outside of that building. I don't know what it was about that building, but it's attracting a million ambulances to it. I think it's because it's one of those Rico buildings that has like maybe 170 households living in it. So there's a bunch of people there. And then I think probably because there's like a lot of noise pollution or something. So a lot of citizens are sick. So then it calls like a billion ambulances over to the area, as you can see there. And it was just like blocking up traffic. I'm like, oh my God. Um, <laughs> so I was like, I don't know um, if that's going to settle down or if that will keep happening. If that keeps happening, we might move that building or try and solve because the thing is this whole downtown area the noise is insane like i'll show you the uh the noise overlay when we get into the game i was trying to find a nice building to fit there i couldn't as you can tell like that's the thing i also went to the workshop i was looking for uh, some new buildings too i still need to find some more new ones uh i found i think i found a couple and i placed one of them down but um i haven't found too i like i haven't gotten too many new ones yet that, that's something i just need to dedicate almost like a day to just going on the on the did i say gallery going on the workshop um and just getting some new stuff because i like a lot of the buildings that i have currently I, I have a lot of buildings but they're really really tall they're really huge which is obviously good for realism and and all that but it doesn't exactly fit this city I thought this building looked kind of cool here. It's like it's, it's almost like a weird place to put it. It's like between the two train tracks. But I was like, you know what? I kind of like it there. Um, and it's like just an office block that's like sort of sandwiched in the middle of those train tracks. And I was like, I kind of like it. So that's where that was going. And then I think right here, I was like, this is a perfect place to get a pedestrian bridge to get over to the other side because we've got all these train tracks right in the way. Because these train tracks basically divide this whole downtown city area. So we want to make it as connected as possible by uh, allowing pedestrians to get across, 
and then there is uh, that sort of road that goes under the rails a little further on. Uh, so it should, it, I'm trying to make it as accessible as possible. And I think I might do another pedestrian bridge further down once we get back into the game. Um, but yeah, so I was just trying to make it accessible for the most part. Because uh, that's, that's a big thing as well. But yeah, that's uh, just sort of filling in the area. Then I think I go through and zone a lot of this space. Some of this area here with offices. So obviously offices and commercial nearer the train tracks. And then as we get to the center of this area, where it's going to be a little bit quieter, the center is going to be... Uh, the residential and all that. And then the waterfront, like I said, we'll probably do tourism and or leisure. Actually, we might do leisure, so it'll be more like clubs and all that because we already have tourism around the other side where the Sydney Opera House is. So I think we might actually... I think at the moment I did tourism again, but I might actually change that to leisure. Or we'll do another separate leisure area. I don't know. We'll evaluate it when we jump into the game. Uh, as you can see for now, I'm sort of just zoning in some of this area. But yeah, as we've done all of this, you can see that that, uh, that industrial area looks more and more out of place the more I've done. Because we get all these like really nice tall new buildings, uh, these high rises. And then these tiny, dirty little industrial smokestacks all over the place that make no sense. Like I said, if there were more factories and warehouses, it would probably look better. But anyway, we'll go into the game in a minute and uh, fix that up. Yeah, I thought I'd just zone that sort of central area with commercial. But that's pretty much it for the time lapse. We're going to go ahead and uh, continue on in the game. I want to make some more changes to the trams and some more zoning and some more of that all going on there. But yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the game. So this is what we have uh, right now. You can sort of see it's zoned along here. I've obviously left some of that empty. I've got to figure out what all that's going to be. But yeah, the middle section here is going to be all these sort of uh, residential buildings, which I think looks quite good. And then it sort of gets a little bit taller near the, the sort of waterfront here. But I think uh, for the most part, the, uh, the downtown is starting to look pretty sweet. Like I think it's starting to fill in finally. It is even getting a nice sort of uh, slope up to the middle of there. I really do like the buildings that sort of come out into this section here. I think that looks really good. Sort of fitting in, sort of nestles in that area really, really nicely. But this, yeah, this is an eyesore. This didn't turn out how I wanted it to at all. It should have been, like if it was all buildings like this like old sort of factories and maybe a little bit taller than that. It would have been really good, but that's not how it ended up. And that's not how I want to leave it at all. Uh, but the other thing I want to do real quick, now uh, there was a suggestion to move or to continue the tram instead of sort of cutting through the middle here to sort of just continue, uh, go under the bridge instead of going through the busy intersection, which makes a lot of sense. Um, but to be honest, I don't even know if I really want to change it. Actually, I guess the only thing the, the only thing that would be an issue, I don't mind this, because that actually flows quite well. But the, where, the, where is the problem is when these cars start turning right and this tram sort of just cuts them off. So maybe we do that. Maybe we join onto this road here and we continue down this road and then just come down that road rather than having to do another weird intersection kind of thing. Also means we can get rid of the additional lanes that we don't need here, which is good. Uh, but I would still want to use, uh, which road? This road here, because if we do this, because I still want three lanes on this side, because we have two turning, one going forward. Then we're going to move uh, the tram up this way. I'm going to use the lovely tram road here, this one. So that's going to go this way instead. Goes under the bridge, along the back. Now, do I just, uh, see the thing is, that's quite a large road, and if I put the trams on it, it actually reduces that that road significantly because there's not oh i guess you know what i could do i could just make the road a lot bigger uh make it a sort of four like large boulevard because then we keep all the lanes it just sort of widens the whole thing quite a lot which i mean it's fine actually that's not too bad right then we want to change up this road back into a tree line you know what maybe even do i want to do like palm trees uh what what palm tree we've we been using? I don't know. Was it the... I guess, look, I guess I could look it up. And that would probably... What about a date palm? Oh, actually, that looks okay. Yeah, we'll use those. So just that area. Pretty much, that's the only bit of... That's the only section of road that has palm trees. Because the rest is all trams. <laughs> anyway, that's going to go there. Then, we're going to remove... Uh, well, we're not even... I guess we're not really removing that tram stop, are we? We're just going to move it instead. So we're going to go tram stop. Basically just shifting it all up there. So the last stop was over there, so the next one could just be here instead. And then here. And then... The next one, we don't have- I haven't put any stops in down here yet. Which is kind of dumb. Uh, so I'm actually gonna do... Should we stop on this road here? Or is it- it's a bit small, isn't it? Let's stop in the middle here. Oh, but then it's just like- you know what? No, we will. We'll stop here and here, because that's close to that area. Then the next one will just be down here. 
Uh, so it's near that intersection. We're not going to stop in the middle because there's no intersections. And the next one is there, so that's fine. Um, okay, cool. That's going to be... That should be quite... That should be better. Now, I want to remove... You know what? I'm wondering... Maybe I don't remove that. Maybe I actually just turn that into a road. Because just a one-way road going that way. Um, not remove it entirely, though. Because... I think that could be quite useful. Then what we'll do... Is send this back into a six-lane road. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I like that idea. You know what? Good job, me. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll do this. We'll go six lane road with a median strip. We're going to say, I'm just going to, I'm basically going to manually set this up because I don't want cars going where I don't want them to. Because these guys are not going to be able to turn right. That's not to turn right. That's to go here. And this is to go here and to go forward. Then obviously that one definitely goes forward. That one definitely goes out. I'm just saying exactly where you're going to be going, buddy. Because if you go the wrong way, I'm going to be mad. Uh, now, we always have a lot of people in this lane. Because that was going to this lane. So what I might do... Send that one to there. I don't think we have a lot of people turning right. So I might actually have three lanes that turn left. And that continues up that way as well. Okay. Let's see what happens there. Now, I'm also going to get rid of those traffic lights. Uh... Oh, I have to remove the time traffic lights first? Uh, yeah, I'm I thought I clicked on that. Sorry, I forgot you had to click like 10 times on buttons in this game. Um, uh, stop, and then delete, delete, and then remove time traffic light, and then also turn that off. Alright, so that should just continue on now. Uh, so cars continue going through there. I, everyone seems to be going that way now, but I think that's just the incident of me changing the lane assignments just there. So they're all f sort of forced to go that way. Uh, and then, up the top, I wish I had a two-lane one way of this that I could use, but anyway, that should be fine. They can, they can go left or right, though, that's fine. So everyone currently is going that way, but they don't need to, and I think that's just because, like I said, it's how I set it up a minute ago. Now you can see everyone's getting in the middle lane because they all want to go here. Some people are using that one, though. I don't even know if we need traffic lights here, to be perfectly honest. I mean, maybe for the trams, but it's just not that busy. I don't think there's any, you know what, I don't think there's any point. I think what we'll do, get rid of those, and then we can say give way. So the tram is going to have, pro that road there will have priority. And then these guys can give way. There you go. It's a little bit of a mess at the moment. I hope that cleans out. It, it should clear out. Anyway, so that's that. That's what I wanted to do. So now the tram sort of goes that way, avoids that intersection, which is good. Uh, so back over this way, right, this industrial area has got to go. Basically, it's just got to go. It's, that's that's it. Now, I wouldn't mind... I don't mind that building. If that building stays like that, I'll keep it. Also, don't mind this red... Like, I want to see if we, can, if we can try and keep some of these buildings. Wait, is that part of that? No, that's a different building. Okay. So get rid of that one. It's just all these really dirty smokestack ones that I don't want. And I don't think belong here at all. But some of the sort of warehouse factories look good, so I want to keep those. Uh, where was that other one that I liked? Or did it already get destroyed? I feel like it already got destroyed at some point, which sucks. Um, <laughs> yeah, the thing is, they come and go so quick in this area. Uh, all of these gotta go. All of these. Now, I wonder if there is... That's something I'd still need to download more of. I need to find more factories and warehouses that aren't too big. But I think the problem is a lot of them on the, the workshop are like really, really big. I'm gonna get rid of that anyway, I don't care. And all of you guys can go too, because it's gross. Alright, so we only have one thing left. And actually, there's a little bit of zoning there. There's like a little silo there or something. What is that? A little fuel tank. The most random... You know what? I'm getting, I'm getting rid of that. I, I, can't, I can't have that there. There's no way. I'll get like a little... I don't know, a little corner store or something there. But we're going to keep the cargo station there. I'm still going to keep that there, because I think that's kind of like... That's actually really useful, having it in the city. And then a lot of this can just be offices, is really what it's going to become instead. But let's also have a look... I know, obviously, we have some things here. So some of these factories might actually look good. Uh, can I get it on... Oh, because it goes sideways. Right, I see. Um, what else do we have? Well, we only have a few. Like, this is probably the best-looking one, and then the Gibson Guitar Factory that I have. And that's about it. Maybe we get, like, a little row of those. Like that, or something. And then maybe... No, that looks dumb. Uh, you know what? No, those have to go somewhere else, because it's too hilly there for these. Let me get these here. Get one there. Maybe that can fit in here. I think that can fit here. Hang on. Oh, that removed that. I bet you that's going to put in some disgusting, dirty factory now. That we're going to have to remove. Um, okay, so this is. Gonna, I'm just going to rotate these two a little bit. 
I want this to go right in that spot there because it's actually like perfect. And then obviously we'll just adjust this out a little bit so it sort of goes around the factory or around the warehouse. So I, I see that's the kind of building that I don't mind here. I don't know what they're building there, but I don't trust it. Oh, actually, that's fine. Okay, so we get those two there. That's good. And then the rest, yeah, is going to be... Maybe get some commercial here too. I don't mind that. Get some commercial around this section. Leave that section open there. Maybe we could do like a little park in there or something. Could be nice. More offices. We need to get... Uh, I want a pedestrian bridge here somewhere actually. Because uh, we got uh, the train tracks there. So the last crossing is back here. Uh, so I think one up here would be good. Especially by this road. Somewhere around here. And then probably over the highway as well. Because at the moment we have the highway sort of cutting through to that point. Actually, by the, speaking of which, I really like this area here. With the highway sort of just entering through the city. Like, doesn't that look awesome? Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, has that building fixed itself? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, the, <laughs> there's no more ambulances rushing. Oh, actually, there's a couple. Because um, I, I actually changed it. This used to be a two-lane one-way road, but I changed it to a four-lane one-way because we had so many ambulances. Which I actually don't think is an issue because we have, at the end, that means we have two lanes that go forward and two that turn, which is actually quite good. And we have... Yeah, there's still a lot of ambulances going here. It must be... I think it's this building. Yeah. Because there's 130 households in it. They're all sick. Because of the, because of the noise pollution. Which actually I was, I was going to show you. Yeah, they're right in the, the thick of the noise pollution. Like right there. It's like the worst place they could live. Uh, which is really annoying. Because in, realistically in a city. You, you're not going to need an ambulance. Just because of noise. Um, it's like dude. Just get over it. <laughs> like, like you shouldn't have moved in there. In the middle of a city. If you're like. Oh it's too noisy for me. No, I don't really like it. I, I knew moving in here there was going to be noise, but I just don't like it. It's like, well, mate, you shouldn't have bloody moved in there. It's your own choice, you moron. All right, so I'm going to put this here. Uh, so we'll just pause there because I need to move this above, obviously, the rail line. Get above the wires. That should be perfect. Uh, and then this can just come down here. I guess I'll just stretch it out all the way. So I'll just go there. So then sort of walk through and then this will come down. I guess to here, and then maybe through to there or something, and then also through this way. I'm trying to see where we could go, maybe here. Hang on, snapping off grid. Come on, as if you can't fit through there, dude. That's just rude. That's just a rude. And you know what? Take that back. Take that. No, why am I underground? I reckon I can fit this in. Here we go. Build that first. And delete that bit. I think it would have been fine. I think they were connected anyway, but... So like that. Okay. So that should be okay. So that now connects through there and bridges across. Uh, that's nice. That provides a nice connection through there. Hopefully some people will use it. I don't know that they will or not. Uh, and then over this way, I think I might just get rid of this building here because I don't really like the look of it anyway. So we'll build a bridge here instead. So we'll just go up to 7 meters, we'll go across to here, maybe? Because I actually want to go all the way across the uh, the highway, so I think this one... You know what, actually I'm going to change this bridge into this one here. Because that's like actually like a bridge looking kind of one. Now let me pause, is that... Uh, no, that height's good, okay. And then I'll probably level it out all the way across, so then this will continue on... ...to here, maybe. And continue on to here. How did that not build a, um, a column there? All there. Damn, that's annoying. There's a completely floating bridge. Great. Hang on. Undo. Snapping. Keep snapping on. Over here. Yeah, there we go. So we got a column there. And then I'm going to move this to here somewhere. I don't know why it like stops moving the... Oops. Oh my god. It's sort of... Yeah, now it's just there randomly. You know? Like, it's kind of weird. What the? Hang on. Where's, where's me node? There it is. There it is. There somewhere. Oh, now that's now it's gone completely. Oh. oh, it's over there now. Okay. I didn't say you could go there. Go away. Um. Well, what I might do. If I go back to this one, actually. Elevated. We'll turn some of it into like this, and then you have like that. Yeah, those bits being the bridge. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, nice. All right. Uh, and then this needs to come down over this way somewhere. Around the back. The thing is, it's right here. I almost just want to go straight through this. It's like it makes the most sense. It's just like... I kind of feel bad about it, you know? 
But sorry, buddy, you gotta go. Guts to go. Right, so that's gonna go there. And then I'll do a... I don't think we need a crossing. Oh, you know what? I'll put a crossing in there anyway. Oops, I just removed it. <laughs> I put it in then removed it immediately. All right, so it goes there. goes across. There's no uh, connection on this side, though. Obviously, I'll put one in. Probably just down to there because there's like a nice little gap straight through the middle. And that should allow us to keep a building there as well. Uh, so right here. So that'll go to there. And that should also be a crossing by default, which is good. Right, so that, that sort of connects that area there. You can actually use that to sort of walk through as well to this side. Obviously, there's no direct elevator path all the way along, but that should be fine. Provides a nice connection. Is anyone using it? Not yet, but hopefully they will. Now, if we go back into here, I want to see if we can do some more, um, just like little buildings. Uh, like actually, this one could be good for this area. No, it's a little too long. <laughs> could be good for back here, actually. Yeah, nice. Now, that's too big. Oh, yeah, there's some people mentioning that I had a couple of the same buildings in the city. It's like, well, I mean, that's going to happen. It's City Skylines. There's not that many different varieties of uh, structures. So if we have a few of the same, I don't really mind. Like, for example, this is the same building as the one that's over there, but it's further back. Um, and I, you know what? To be honest, I think that's too tall for here anyway. I think at this point we should have much lower buildings down anyway. All right, so now let me have a look at the, uh, the zoning here. So this is all leisure at the moment. Um... Or it was tourism, sorry. I want to change this area here to leisure, maybe. So I might actually do a different district again. Especially because we don't have anything zoned here yet. So I don't really... So we're not going to ruin anything by changing the zoning. Because if I change that area here, then it's going to destroy all those. Because we've got some nice like sort of hotels and, and stuff built on the waterfront there. Now, obviously, all these districts don't have names yet. Uh, I will be working on that soon, hopefully. So just don't worry about that too much. So this here will be our beautiful... Uh, Leisure district. So this will be like nightclubs and all that. Now, I guess along the waterfront, I want to do... I'd like to do a large road again. Like, almost like the ones we were doing before. Where it was kind of like those... I don't even know what... It... Oh, you know what? Actually, some of these roads might be good. Maybe the zonable promenade? Tree with leaves. No, I want to change those to the palm trees, probably. Because this would be really good. And then have like clubs on it and all that. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so this is going to be... Uh, instead of that, we're going to go palms and that on it. I think I did the date palm. I'll just do the date palm on both sides because I think that's probably best to just keep it the same. All right, whoopsie daisies, that's not a date palm. Now, can I just upgrade that or is it not gonna, oh, yes it does let me, good. Right, so this will come along. Uh, I guess, do we just join to that existing intersection? Probably, do I wanna curve it around like this? Or should we do it? Differently. Do it. No, you know what? I think we'll do it differently. I think what we'll do is we'll have this road here. And we'll sort of just go this way. And then maybe we'll just end here somewhere. Maybe we'll transition that into like a pathway or something. And then we'll have like a proper road with enough lanes. Okay, this should definitely be on the ground, not a bridge. So I'll come through to here. And then at the back, we'll actually have like a little laneway. There's not enough room for a laneway though. It's going to take away a lot of the zoning. So, yeah, never mind. We'll just do the large road like that. That's fine. Okay, and then that's going to continue on pretty much this whole district, I think. And maybe even just end on that road over there. Uh, yeah. That'll probably be fine. Alright, so this is going to go... ...along the waterfront like this. Back a little bit. There we go. All the way along. And then I'm just going to end it there. Uh, I'm going to continue that road, though, because... ...I don't think we'll go this far. Like, I think... Pretty much past where that road is. I don't want to be like tourism. So I'll change that into just like a... Um, do I want to keep using that uh, median strip road? You know what? I do. Oh, wait. This is a different one. Oh, that's a workshop one. I don't want that one because that the workshop version doesn't actually work as a median. Whereas this one does. Like as in cars can just drive across that. Oh my god, that's annoying. You're blocking the whole lane by doing that. You know that, right? I hate you. I hate all of you. All right, so that'll transition there. Um, that'll be fine. Okay, so that's going to go all the way down there. Now, this is going to be, obviously, commercial. Pretty much all of this. Uh, you know what we should definitely do before I build too much, which I'm already doing, is get out... I guess is it roads again? Now, does this... Zonable pedestrian... No, see, I don't want it to be zonable. I just want pedestrian path. So I'll just do a normal pedestrian path. I want plenty of pathways that go through up to this road. Um... 
Oh, see, that's that's a good spot because there's a big gap there, but then this is not a good spot. Like that. So yeah, we gotta have like a lot of connections. Okay, can we like? Here we go. There, maybe another one here because there's a big gap. There should definitely be one there because there's a tram stop right there. One here. And I guess one maybe there as well where there's already an intersection. So those come all the way through. Now I think they can already walk across this road. I don't think we need to do crossings. No, it's already... If it's orange, it means there's already crossings there. Now through this main road, we definitely want to do crossings. I think probably on all of these, to be honest, because if this is going to be heavily pedestrianized area in terms of like lots of clubs and all that, we're going to want a lot of access all over. So that's what we're going to do. I mean, the residents living here, it's going to be loud. I can tell you that much now. Uh, which, I'm sorry, you're not getting your deposits back at this rate, so... You already moved in, the suckers. Go there. Uh, can I just come through there a little bit? Okay, and then up like that. Okay, that'll go there. Now, so the trams stop along this road. I don't think these pathways need to go all the way through, because, like, if, for example, this one can already sort of go down the road and get up over there. We don't need to cut any more away. But that should be quite good. Uh, and then we're going to get some pipes. Make sure it's got all the water through the area. Uh, water and all that, by the way. Are we doing good? Garbage is okay. I think we're having garbage collection issues back here. What's this? Too few services. Oh, okay. Um, you know what? We could get a little crematorium back here because we don't have one nearby. So maybe around here. Look, it's not a very nice place. So we're working on it. We're working on it. Fire department. Oh, jeez. They do not really have any fire department uh, through here. Maybe we get a nice one. You know what, we could just get one out here, because that's a nice building instead of filling a space. I think even on this little road right there, it's probably a good place to put it. Get rid of that stupid little building there, so it fills in more of a gap too. Alright, that's good. Uh, and then police department. There's no police coverage out here either. It's like a, it's a weird space, isn't it? Get like a larger one here, that should cover all up there. School? Uh, there's no schools here, actually. But we have such high capacity. It's like, all you have to do is travel to a school. But I guess, if you really want me to, I can put in some of these sort of taller ones. Uh, where's public transport in this area? Train station is there, obviously. We have trams stopping around. Maybe around here. We'll do it on this little street back here. I'm going to get two opposite each other. Just to cover this area, hopefully quite well. And then some high schools as well. Uh, maybe back here. It's a little further down that road, but it should be good. I think there's a high school, right? A thousand students? Yeah. The thing is, high schools we have a lot of capacity for anyway. Um, I get this. It's also really, they take up a lot of space. I just want to, why isn't there a high school that looks exactly like this? And the exact same, but a high school. Because that'd be good. That's a good size. It's small, but it's like a high-rise building instead. Uh, we don't really have much of a university presence downtown either. I think we had... The, I'll just do the same one again. This is good, but... It's gonna take up, um... It's gonna take up so much room. Actually, if I put it here, maybe... Does that have... Oh, it has trees there. That's annoying. Uh, okay. Well, I'll move it here somewhere. Let me turn off snapping real quick. Go away. Uh, if we put it here. Yeah, that, that fits in. That'll fit in here. It's okay. Alright, so that'll go there. Alright, so we've got a couple of high schools around here. I mean, they're just down the road from each other in the same high school, but shh, don't ask questions. Oh no, all the buildings are changing into these stupid white ones. Damn it. Uh, oh no, whoops. I accidentally changed that district. I wanted to go themes. Th enable theme manager. We need to do uh, best ever. Yeah. I really should have applied that citywide. Damn it. Um, actually, hopefully we have these buildings in it. I don't really know what best ever included. I don't I don't know. But it, it was basically a theme that I did so we didn't get this, these buildings everywhere. Ugh. They're so ugly. Because, um, yeah, it made this area look a lot better. Because that used to be all white as well, I think, was the issue we had. Uh, it's a whole thing. It, it's a whole thing that we're trying to avoid for the most part. But anyway, I think this is starting to come along. It's starting to look better. I think if I can find some more... Specialized buildings for this little area, it will look much better. But I think that already looks way better than the industrial that was there. Uh, and then as this starts to fill in, we're getting... Look at all these... These, these are going to be awesome. We've got all these clubs down here now. <laughs> I think once we fill in both sides of this... Oh, you know what we need to do down here? Hotel. We need to get like those casino hotels out. Hyatt. Oh, wow. Okay, this might be a little too big. Yeah, we, here's the thing. we got to get buildings that are the right size. 
Like, this is too big, I think, for this... And for the city in general. What about the Rio Grande? Oh, this isn't too big. This might be okay. This could go... Maybe even here somewhere. Maybe more down this way. If we put it there, what does that look like? Kind of an ugly building, though. Oh, actually, you know what? The back bit's not too bad. I think if we sort of terraform a little bit... Neat enough, especially with this sort of road just ending at it. Could be cool. I think maybe if we have it facing a different way, though. Anyway, I think if I play around with that. I think really it needs to face if we rotate it... Hang on. You know what? I can just show you. If we just do this. It should be this way. Because... You got this along the waterfront. And then we've had we put this road in front of it. Mm-hmm. Because that's the road it'll be sitting on then. It's Rio Grande. That looks way better. Wait, which road? Wait, oh, that was the front. That needs to be there needs to be a road here. Hang on. So we just need to do like a little access road. So I'll just build like a uh I'll build like this or something. Yeah, that's where the entrance is. It's kind of dumb, but it's just you have to do it. Because the game says so. There you go. Uh, I will probably continue this a little bit longer too. But anyway, for now, I'll just go there for demonstration purposes. So there you go. We've got a nice hotel right there. And then you have all this stuff along the front. Yeah. What other hotels do we have that aren't too big? Because if they're too big, it's all too thin. Like, what the hell is that? It's like part of the other hotel. Oh, this is good. Oh, I can go right there. No. Oh, it's got a helicopter on top of it. Dude. <laughs> I don't even know where the hell this came from, but we got it. Uh, what else we got? Uh, that's just a, this is just a standard game hotel, which, I mean, I guess we could do. Why not? Oh. I guess that's why not. We'll get rid of it. It didn't work. Uh, Caesars? Oh no, it's Nero's? Oh, I guess it is Caesar's Palace, but it was the person called it Nero's. So yeah, stuff like this, I think would be good. Obviously not overdoing it. I don't think I want to go too far down that way. I think maybe if we do a few more up this direction. Could be good with this one. Oh, the... <laughs> Dump. Classic. Um... That's a bit too big, though, for the city. Uh, beach Hotel, that's just a small one. Oh, actually, this is quite a good one. This is a very stylized one, which is, I think, is supposed to be the... Was that the W from Las Vegas? I don't know. But this could be quite a good one. I think it, well, it, need, it definitely needs to face out. So it need, need, like, need to be along the waterfront or something. But it would have to be further up. It would have to be here again. Again, it needs to be further this way, not so much that way. Um, and then these, I think, just game ones. What else do we have? Yeah, more MGM stuff. Yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of them that we could put in here. So uh, it's kind of like what we did in, um, I think we did it in one of the cities. Not not Sedona, it was the one before that, whatever the hell that was. I think we had like a sort of waterfront near the city, with the hotels, and I think this is a good place to do it. Uh, like we do have a few hotels here as well, like that was a little bit of tourism. But I think that's also another good place to have a few. But yeah, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I think this area is starting to look a lot better now. Uh, we have... I think I need to do something about this, because it's really annoying me that they all use the one lane, and it's basically because they're all going left on the highway. Because here's the thing, they would definitely use the other lane if they're turning right, or going the, like, if they're turning right down here, or going right onto the highway, but because everyone's going left, it's actually really annoying. Um, you know what, where are they all going? A lot of them, uh, a lot of them are just staying on the highway. I'm wondering maybe if we just do, um... I don't want to do tunnels everywhere. I think maybe if we just get a wider road here, we'll use both lanes. Oh, I don't know. You know what? I'll look into it. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.